So today we're traveling from Amsterdam to Frankfurt. Uh, we are on our way to park our car at the Excellence Parking. I think it's a premium exclusive uh, parking garage. Um, it's also the most expensive parking garage at uh, 52 euros just for one day. And the parking is connected direct to the terminal uh, departures. So that's the, the benefit you have. So on the left is uh, where the old valley parking uh, used to be. The real valley parking where you literally could drop off your car and then drop off the keys in here and you're in the terminal. Now this is uh, closed due to the renovation so I'm not even sure if it's ever going to open up again. And there uh, on the right here through the windows you can see where you could just uh, park your car. We're flying with Lufthansa today. Uh, we have already checked in online. We've got our boarding passes, so it's uh, straight to security. So you might have noticed me using uh, Previum to clear the security. Uh, Previum is a paid service where they use uh, your biometrics um, that gets put onto an iris scan actually, that gets put onto a, a little card. Um, that will open uh, certain uh, gates at security for you. Um, it also gives uh, access to the priority lines, um, premium lounges, and other benefits. So if you uh, might have noticed, I'm not scanning my uh, eyeballs um, because uh, we're flying within the Schengen area so to Germany, so uh, then only the card is needed and not the uh, eye scan. So after the scanning of our uh, luggage and uh, our person, um, it's straight downstairs, you arrive straight into the terminal and there's no secondary passport or ID control um, as we're traveling within Schengen, so that's not needed. Um, so now it's time uh, to find the, the lounge. Well, the escalator still isn't fixed. It's been a month since I was here last and it wasn't uh, working. Uh, I'm fine using the stairs, but I still think it's a bit of a disgrace that uh, at such a busy airport uh, this isn't fixed. And it's also quite uh, dangerous now with the, as the crowds are increasing. Got a nice view uh, of downstairs, so if, uh, I'm not sure if they're renovating or rebuilding uh, a restaurant downstairs. Um, well, I think I see one man working, so he's got a big job ahead of him. Um, and if you look uh, there in front of us, look at all those uh, people down there. Um, that is the connecting flight uh, from outside of the Schengen area. Um, so if you're connecting at Schiphol, take some time uh, in the hand. So I wanted to show you the um, Aspire Lounge today, um, but I just couldn't find it. Um, so I just uh, jumped into the Premium Lounge uh, for a quick cup of coffee before uh, boarding. So exiting the premium lounge, uh, we saw signage there by the elevators, uh, 25, 26. Uh, one of them is the Aspire lounge. Uh, so now we know where it is. Uh, it's one floor up with these elevators. Uh, so in a future uh, video, uh, we will show you the Aspire lounge as well. So on our way to the escalators uh, down, uh, well, I mean the stairs down, uh, we passed the uh, KLM Crown lounge. Um, it's not my favorite lounge, but it has been quite some time since I've uh, been there. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to visiting uh, that in the near future. So um, dotted throughout the, uh, the terminals uh, are these grab and flies, um, where you have a nice perk if you have an American Express card, uh, gold or up, where uh, you can get a free sandwich and, uh, and a free drink. Uh, there's several combinations uh, which you can get there. Uh, it's a nice little perk. Uh, this is not an ad, but it's uh, very convenient. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we're traveling from the B-Gates, uh, which is, seems to be the norm for Schengen flights. Um, take about 10 to 15 minutes at a gentle pace uh, walking to get there. Well, our plane is uh, hiding there. Um, it's a 13 year old um, A320 um, from Lufthansa uh, that will take us to uh, Frankfurt today. So we're flying uh, economy today on this uh, Lufthansa flight. Um, got a nice seat just behind the wing, so a nice view. Um, leg room is, well, standard, I think, uh, across the board with uh, most uh, airlines in economy. Um, I'm glad I don't have very long legs. <laughs> For us uh, in economy class, uh, we got a small bottle of water uh, and a chocolate. Uh, nothing else was offered, uh, no buy on board or anything like that on this short flight uh, with Lufthansa. Uh, so I could just uh, enjoy uh, the clouds uh, sipping on my water uh, and eating my chocolate. So a special mentioning for the crew. I think they uh, was a really professional crew. Um, was a very drunk man um, sitting in the wrong seat but he wasn't making a fuss so they moved him to the correct seat which was just just in front of us um, you could see they were uh, monitoring him um, he needed to, you know, to be reminded of putting on a seat belt and when he went to the bathroom he came back and he couldn't find his seat and then he disappeared again and then he came back looking for his seat uh, well that was kind of funny um, but they handled it well, um, he, you know, he wasn't being loud or obnoxious or bothering anybody else. Um, so under the circumstances, I think uh, they uh, judged it very well and handled it very professionally.
Well, it's a very annoying uh, tone the plane is making, that uh, high uh, squealing, uh, I don't know what is causing it. Um, they turned up one engine, I think. Um, so let me know in the comment if you know uh, which part of the plane is uh, making that sound. It's uh, very loud. We arrived on time, uh, it was a nice flight, um, now we're gonna have to find the exit, um, Frankfurt is a very large airport, uh, so I'm expecting a, a very long walk. Uh, this concludes our video, uh, we have arrived uh, in Frankfurt. Um, remember that I will post a separate video with the full takeoff and another separate video with uh, the full landing um, that usually comes uh, in the week after a trip report. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if you enjoy my videos, if you want to see something more or something less of something, just uh, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe, uh, that really helps uh, us uh, grow this channel. Uh, thank you uh, once again for watching.